Working from home shouldn't mean sacrificing style. As retailers wrestle with the changing economy, some stores are finding creative ways to boost sales. Wish in Acton is one of them. Happy Thursday! We are live! For boutique owner Kate Thoney, going mobile via Facebook Live has transformed her business. I'll be honest, I don't think that we would have made it without utilizing social media platforms. First up, in the new arrivals, I was thinking, I don't want to look silly, I don't want to look hokey, and then COVID hits, necessity kicks in and we decided that let's just give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. I'm so pretty and you like that. Thony's freewheeling sense of fun often draws viewers from out of state. The Facebook Live has stuff blowing out so quickly that we're really able to bring in new styles multiple times a week. Definitely size down one size from your normal denim. On their apps, customers send direct messages to purchase items which can be shipped or picked up in person. Friends and I would kind of text with each other and say, what did you buy today? Customer Kristen Marachi says the process is dangerously simple. Oh, it's so easy, really easy actually. My husband is not in love with it. <laughs> Wish is a family affair. Thony, a former model, co-owns the store with her mother, Donna, who used to work on the corporate side of fashion. Even the family dog is a fashionista. Millie's the shop dog. She's a huge draw and she's adorable. The boutique, which opened in 2017, is mom's lifelong wish, says Thony. I went with her and looked at a couple of, you know, stores for sale. It was our dream spot and we just knew that we had to do it. So the spot is what did it. During the COVID-19 shutdown, Wish really turned mobile. I would have to go around and do deliveries to probably like 12 towns from Concord, Mass to towns up in New Hampshire. There were some days when I was on the road for five or six hours. Owning a small business has its challenges, but the Thonies are all in. Literally, when we walk in this door every morning, honestly, we look at each other and we say, oh, I love it here. I will see you next week at a normal time. Bye. Love you. One common style sacrifice during the pandemic, neglecting those tresses. I just saw that a lot of industries were changing this time, and I just thought, which one? is the most impacted, and I just saw that salons and barbershops were just majorly affected. Shez Raza launched House Cuts in June of 2020, right after getting a master's degree from Babson College. Hi. Hi. I believe we can replace overhead costs, run a utility, and replace it with technology expenses and start finding people online. The idea is simple. Go online, book an appointment, and a hairstylist comes to you. They set up inside your house or outdoors if weather permits. Kind of the future for House Cuts is it can become an app where stylists can manage their mobile bookings outside of the salon and travel to different locations and just make their life more convenient as well. Yeah, I heard that you play tennis. House Cuts stylists are licensed and have several years of experience, says Raza. Today, Molly O'Reilly snips away on the porch of a customer's home in Newton. We started playing with a bunch of heaters and figuring out what we could possibly do. Currently, Raza has a handful of stylists on call who cover Greater Boston and the Cape. We've completed 850 haircuts over the last six months. House Cuts is really built on safety. We're getting COVID tested regularly and we've posted the results on our website which is also not something that's currently being done. Raza says that immunocompromised people and parents of newborns are enthusiastic new clients. The older generation is also embracing the service. They've learned to use technology to make their life more convenient. Also, providing this service to the elderly will be beneficial. Such a great idea and in extremely cold weather, it is obviously difficult for stylists to cut hair outdoors. So House Cuts only does outdoor haircuts on days that are above 50 degrees and as long as it isn't raining. In the event of rain, the stylist can do the cut indoors, whether inside the home, garage or an enclosed porch. We'll have links to information on our website. Coming up, mobile delivery to those in need.